Douglas, stay there. Ashkar joins us from Ilford. Ashkar is from the uh, Muslim Public Affairs Committee. Ashkar, good morning. Good morning. Do you want this man in the country? Um, well, I surely don't want him um, extradited uh, to be tortured in a foreign country. And if he's done anything wrong in this country, he needs to be charged. The fact that he's been held for uh, over 10 years, never been interrogated by MI5 or the police, uh, and never been charged with an offence, not even being able to see his own... Uh, uh, the reason why they're holding him is a disgrace. And to have, no, um, no, you know, not even able to see his own what? You didn't finish the sentence there. Well, well, not even to, uh, to, to be able to see the, the charges against him. Right. No, no, the evidence against him, sorry. Able to yeah. see. To, no, sorry. The evidence mate. against him, no, he hasn't. I'll let you back in a minute, no, Douglas, go on. Yes. No, go on. no, the evidence against him, he hasn't. I, I, I can assure you, he has. everyone can see the evidence. Uh, well, he hasn't. I can assure you, he hasn't. Do you feel well, sorry for him, Ashka? I did feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for any human being who'd been locked up uh, uh, with, uh, 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 without charge for 10 years, have their liberty uh, taken away, have their lives destroyed, and, and, and to be tortured in a foreign country, and then have people on air saying they should be sent back to be tortured again. W wouldn't you, wouldn't anyone, any human being feel sorry for that person? Well, I, I repeat, I, I never said that he should be tortured. I said very specifically that he shouldn't be and that that was why the Labour government... What you actually government, said... And that was why the Labour said, government... If I can just finish my sentence. Well, it, it, the Labour government did extraordinary effort and it made sure that they got every assurance they could from the Jordanian government that he wouldn't be mistreated. Uh, the question here is not whether or not he would be mistreated, it is whether or not the European Court's latest changing of the goalposts to include Article 6 grounds is something that the British government can or should follow and obey. He's got links with some, some pretty awful people, Ashgar. He made a speech in 1999 advocating the, the killing of Jews, issue, issued a fatwa if, justifying the, the killing of wives and children of apostates. Uh, do you think, is there any point where your human sympathy, which you're right, we should all have for a fellow human being, but is there any point that your human sympathy becomes, you know, tempered a bit? Two, two, two points. Firstly, you know, these, these claims against him saying that he said this or that, you know, we've heard it all before, the Guantanamo Bay detainees. If it's true, then charge him on that. So that point I, I, don't, um, I don't take. If it's true, if any of those things, and he did say that, and they are legal. You don't think he's as villainous as he's painted, if, no? Well, if he was, if he was, then they should have charged him, not held him 10 years without charging him a single offence. Secondly, uh, as far as um, the, the, the point being that, you know, does my humanity lessen? Uh, if I was going to be less human, then, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd really have to look um, deep down and say, what's wrong with me? So, no. You so any, anyone, no matter what they've done, no matter what they've spouted, no matter what they think, no matter... If, think, think of the biggest well, villains in human know, history. You would still have equal sympathy for, 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 for everyone, whatever let's, their let's moral just, position. Well, let, let's that's uh, that's admirable. Well, n no, let's just look at this. If someone has committed a crime and they're doing an evil deed and they're going to inflict harm on others, then charge them, arrest them and put them in prison. Do not hold them without charge for, for most of their life, ruin their lives, threaten them with, with sending them back somewhere to torture without ever knowing why or, uh, or hearing their case and hearing uh, what, they've done wrong, uh, what, what they've done wrong. That's the difference. Humanity just, demands, the Magna Carta demands no, that person. No, this really is, is, a, is a red herring. Abu Qatada, I repeat, is a Jordanian national who has been charged in absentia for crimes of terrorism in Jordan. And, and the Jordanian, and the Jordan, hang on, and the Jordanian government, the Jordanian courts want to try him. It is under actually torture. an important, it, no, no, not under torture, as I repeat, because we've already now, made that agreement with Jordan that wouldn't happen. You claim that. Now, no, no, the Labour, the Labour government uh, uh, well, got that the Labour government with things. Jordan. So if I can just if I can just if I can just finish, it is an important principle that uh, as, it, it, as it would be the case for Britain, if a terrorist act were committed in Britain by a British national who had illegally entered a foreign country and was trying to and was and was staying there in, and evading justice, the British courts would want to return that person to Britain to try them in Britain. That is an important principle to apply here this, and in this. Jordan me... and in any well, other country. Well, you've made a fine speech, but you've made made, made a speech for government that tortures uh, uh, people. No, I repeat, let's, let's I repeat, just, repeat just not I, uh, torture. Allow me to finish. I allowed you to finish. Not, allowed you to finish. No, that, no, let me yes, finish. I, I didn't misrepresent what you said. Allow me to finish. I said Douglas, not Douglas, torture. You, 
you, Douglas, you, you've been you've been talking for the last ten minutes about how great it is to send people back to torture. Now let me finish. Well, no, well, was, he didn't actually he didn't actually say that. If you um, keep misrepresenting me, I will keep interrupting you. If you keep misrepresenting me, I will have to keep interrupting you. Okay. Well, well, allow me to talk, and then if you think I've done I've said something wrong, then then by all means you can jump in afterwards and say how how wicked and evil I am and how I should be locked up and how I'm an extremist. The the, the fact of the, of the matter is that he was charged and convicted in Jordan, in his absence, under uh, evidence that was obtained uh, by torture. Now, you may have a great deal of faith in the Jordanian um, judicial system, but Amnesty International and many other um, um, organizations um, would say otherwise, and that's the problem. It's easier for you to... Is, isn't it, 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 Ashgar, do you... Does the, Ashgar, does the, 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 it's, a, it's a point which was made earlier on... He's not interrupting you, I am. Uh, Ashgar, the point was made earlier on that... Uh, which you've just made about the, the information being derived from torture uh, convicted in absentia. But do you, know, do you not think, as some people think, that there is an irony here that he is being protected by a system that he wants to destroy? Uh, well, again, I think this is a, a, a generalisation. I mean, mm. I, uh, the, well, I refer to you to his speeches and to the company he has if, kept and the links well, that he has had. Hold on, there's lots of, there, there, there's lots of people, the, the BNP, the EDL, they, they don't agree but they're not Jordanians. So it's okay. They're not Jordanian. Nick, Nick Griffin, what, you know, much as you may deride him, it, he's not a Jordanian. He lives so near he's, Wales and right, he was born right, there. Fine, fine, fine. But he's a human being. So, so yeah. it's someone who is a human but being. But he's a British, who, you know, he's, he's got enti certain entitlements because he was born like you in, in this country, you know. His entitlement, his entitlement is not to come and be locked up without trial for 10 years. So if you can't say because he's not British, well, that's, that's fine. Is, is that what you're arguing? Is that what you're arguing, Douglas? No, it, among other things, if you enter a country illegally, the idea that you would then be allowed and able to take on every right that the people born and brought up in this country legally possess is a nonsense. It is not possible uh, for a system of justice to remain in place which extends every imaginable right to people who have broken into those countries and have used their time in those countries to foment terrorism and hatred. OK, thank you both. Thank you both. Yeah. We, we, we have to... Ashka, thanks for your call. Thank you. Absolute pleasure. All right. Douglas, thanks for coming on. Thanks very much, Nick. Cheers now. Bye. It's 9.51. Here's Michelle.